Okay, Deb, if you are so inclined, if you want to do a soak for him, this is how I do it. Um, food with his little pill stuck in the food. We're going to see this is the first pill he's taken, so we'll see how this goes. A uh, third of a cup of Epsom salts in here with uh, very uh, warm water. It could almost be called, it was hot when I started, but it cools down pretty quick. Um, and this is what I do. So I just get him starting to eat, and he does, and then I pick up the foot, and I just stick it in, and I just keep him here, but he's kind of stays here on his own because you know how he likes to eat. And I just pet him. And sometimes I think it kind of must feel good because he really doesn't mind it being in the water. Well, I think he just ate the pill, which would be a good thing. Um, and then I just, uh, as long as he'll keep his foot in there, I keep him in there. The doctor said that he does um, think that it can help. Um, I do think it did help. Um, they got a little bit of gunk out of there with a needle, but um, it's more inflammation, he thinks, than uh, mucky stuff in there. So, But nothing's broken. So, anyway. If you're inclined <laughs> to do this for him, you can. Um, if not, no worries. I think he'll be fine. But the pills are really, really small. And... Um, it's one pill twice a day with food, so I guess it's a good thing I got the wet food because he's just the pill. He's it's gone now. So all right, thanks, Deb. Sorry, <laughs> always something. Here, good boy, bye bye. Here, good boy. Okay, bug. Now the other day when he got out and he shook it, he was screaming. So obviously it's it, it's definitely getting better. But anyway, if you can do that, that's awesome. If not, I totally understand. Um, and thank you, thank you. <laughs>